What are insect wings? There are several things we need to know about insect wings. As shown in the previous scene, the wings of birds and bats are modified forelimbs. Here we see the structures of vertebrate forelimbs showing the common bones and the relationships between the two types of wings in the human arm. Insect wings are not modified forelimbs. Insect wings are expansions of the epicuticle of the second and third thoracic segments. Here is a cross section through one of the wing bearing thoracic segments of an insect that has gradual metamorphosis. This will illustrate the basic structure of the insect wing. Insects were the first animals to evolve wings and fly. The insect wing is not an appendage like the legs that evolved into wings for the birds and bats. Rather, the wings of insects are outgrowths of the body wall in the region between the dorsal and lateral cuticular sclerites. The wing buds are continuous with the hemocele and are filled with hemolymph, the insect blood. Only adult insects have fully functional wings. Here are the two types of insect development that produce winged adults. Insect species with gradual metamorphosis have immature feeding stages called nymphs that resemble the adult. Nymphs have wing buds that expand into the wings after the adult molt. Complete metamorphosis consists of worm-like larval feeding stages followed by a quiescent pupa that develops into the final winged adult. Little flies do not grow larger to become big flies. If it has wings, it is a fully grown adult insect. Now that we know some basic facts about the insect wing, let us describe the structure of the wing. We will use the cicada as a model to illustrate wing structure. Cicadas belong to the order Homoptera and have gradual metamorphosis. The immature nymphal cicada resembles the adult except for the small wing buds on the sides of the thorax. As the nymph grows at each molt, the wing buds become more evident. The adult cicada emerges from its nymphal cuticle at the last molt. The wings are expanded by pumping hemolymph, the insect blood, into the wing. Here is a longitudinal section of the wing immediately after molting to the adult and expanding the wing by using the hydrostatic pressure of the hemolymph. The wing is a thin cuticle extension of the body wall consisting of an outer layer of epicuticle that is secreted by underlying epidermal cells. Initially, the upper and lower epidermal cell layers are separated by an internal space that is continuous with the open hemoseal of the insect and is filled with the hemolymph. Trachea and nerves are also present within the wing. After the wing expands, the two epidermal layers of the wing surface fuse and the epidermal cells degenerate, leaving the two layers of the epicuticle as a taut membrane. Here is a cross-sectional view of the wing showing the presence of veins in the wing. Veins form around trachea as thickened regions comprised of epicuticle and sclerotized exocuticle. The veins provide structural support for the membranous areas and contain trachea and nerves. The veins also allow hemolymph flow through the wing to provide liquid to keep the wing from becoming overly dry and brittle. Next we will examine the structures of the thorax segments that are involved in flight and their relationships with the flight muscles.